YouTube welcome back to another video guys just a short update on um, basically where we're up to with the indoor predator pond and where do we go from here now basically forward so um, I'll spin you around guys I'll show you what we've been up to do I need to say anything we've got a window in I tell you what though big thank you to my two best mates for giving me a lift for this because it was a ball ache give you a little tip guys if you ever put a big pond window in get yourself some glass suckers because me and my mate have got bad backs sore biceps and feel like I've been 10 rounds of Mike Tyson so as you can see we have gravel in there so obviously for the height of this room as you're going to see on the little bit of a video that I've put into this one of everyone trying to get out <laughs> I wish it was a little He'll bit smaller. Like, I'm staying here tonight. Maybe a little bit taller. <laughs> I'm thinking that way. No, yeah, you'll be fine that way. Right. Got me. See how I've just done it. Yeah, but you've just got out on my shoulder. Both of you. You're me to get back here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's literally like two and a half foot from there to the ceiling basically what I did was I kept all this fish room building low bearing roof because at the time um, well we didn't get on with the neighbours too much so I basically built it a little bit higher than this shed so we didn't say anything but you know we're in here anyway so yeah that's the reason why the roof's a bit low but yeah guys, so glass window is finally in. So we used MS300 from CW Ponds and we used roughly seven tubes. So what I did was, I can't show you the other side, but it, this glass is 1 meter 750 mil wide and 1 meter is 1, 1 meter 1 meter 100 tall and 33 mil thick. So it's, it's an inch and a quarter thick. As you can see there's a bit of silicon splodged out which I'm not bothered about because of now I know. Obviously I did what he said on his videos. This isn't a how to video by the way guys. Never fit in a window in my life. This is the first time. But we've got a nice good thick bead squash through all the way around. All the way up there as well. And on the other side is really good as well. So I smeared all the inside off with a wet finger <laughs> um, tool station let me down there and he had one clamp so the next best option was timber on the inside timber on the outside and pull it to and then we used two sheets of Kingspan to prop it in onto the window frame at the bottom which is pretty tight to be fair let's see, let's see there it splodges the silicon out we're going to trim that up and run a nice bead round inside but yeah the gravel Wow, so we've got the gravel from work and um, I only wanted the 20 mil stone out of it and um, me and my best mate saved two ton of gravel yesterday to get that and I've still got a bit left to do this end because it's like nearly four inches deep, well three inches. The returns are sealed up, I might paint that one, I might get a little tub of pond paint to paint that and then you can see the two 
returns there so we've got the heat exchange well I can have any of them ones heat exchange for the air source but yeah um, we're gonna have one coming in I'm gonna probably put a 45 on it maybe just a uh, one I can detach to send it up or a Ventura unit probably heat exchange at the bottom and then as you can see we've got the pipe work to bring through the wall for the backy shower it is two tier obviously the other one literally just sits on top so I've got to get some I'm going to get some mounting tree media for that um, need to get some plants sorted for in here I've got to put the batten across for the plant holder obviously we're having plants in here suspended in with the rooting system for all the neon tetras and the little minnows and that's all hiding for natural food source and the, to break it up that it's just big fish in here a couple of big pieces of bog wood as well to get for in here as well for the middle obviously as the fish get bigger the red tails and the tiger shovel nose and that I will start taking um, stuff out and then they'll have more swimming space but for now we're going to make it as natural as we can for them but this looks well you can see the view now it looks crazy this pond does now with the window in everyone thinks it looks even double the size now with the glass in but yeah it was heavy, it was seriously heavy I think it's roughly around about 155 kilo the winder is so there guys screen savers come on come on what do you have so we had a a visit from another youtuber as well and um, basically I was very confused on how to have the under gravel suction grid i.e. gravity fed or pump fed so I messaged um, someone off YouTube called Tim Waddington and he is the owner of Quality Niskagoy in Warrington in England so I had the pleasure of him um, sorting me out a load of equipment obviously I've paid for the paid for everything like normal but he fetched it himself and he, we had a good chat and that so shout out to Tim at Quality Nisk going for sorting me out with the filtration um, yeah basically the under gravel suction grid would have to be pump drawn not gravity because it's 50 mil obviously 50 mil waste so yeah we had the pleasure of having Tim Huddington here so I'll spin you around guys I'll show you what we've got for run this beast of a pond sorry about the mess there. there's crap everywhere guys so we've got a Evo 25 watt to go on the pond as well. We've got a Tempest as well. Let's see there you are, you know what they look like. A 24 inch Evolution Aqua K Plus Media Bead Filter. All 2 inch as well, because that's what we're running on the pond, all 2 inch. This doesn't do justice on camera how big this thing is. I was going to get the 36 inch one, but this, this is heavy. Like, this is a serious, serious bit of kit, guys, honestly. He said it was more than enough to do the filtration. As you see in there, you see the baffles in there, and it's, it does have the K Plus media, the new K1, basically. And we've got a 20,000 litre of airy pump. It's a bit messy because I've had it out playing with it, so we've got all the couplings and everything to go on, obviously. It's going to be dry fed, well, dry mounted, shall I say. So we've got them to go on. We've got a um, union coupling spot on, female thread to smooth. Still debating whether I put the skimmer in. I don't know yet. Probably won't. Bull valves. We've got the blower for the... Oh, that's it, sorry guys. We've got the multi-port valve to go on as well. So, you all know what they look like, so multi-port valve for the bead, that goes on to them two connectors there and there. So yeah, so we've got all the connectors, we've got everything to go now. So, the next plan, I will upload another video. The next plan now, I'm going to leave the battens on for the window till the weekend. And then we're going to put the big bull valves on the outside of the pond where all the filtration house is going. And then we're going to fill her up with water. So, yeah. 
the scary bit. I thought the glass was going to be scary putting that and it was, but it, it's just simple of just pushing a window to silicon, but yeah, it's had a good thick bead. It's had big slug trails of bead on the other side. When I get in the pond, I'll show you um, how thick that silicon is on the other side because you see it a lot better. But yeah, we're going to fill her up halfway, water test this weekend coming, and then we are going to fill her all the way up, leave her, see if any leaks come about, touch wood, touch wood, nothing does, um, and then we'll go from there guys, because I'm obviously going to have to flush the pond a couple of times to get all the debris out, like I say, the gravel is pretty clean to prepare, I took a lot of muck out of the gravel, sorry guys, sniffling, I've got a really bad hay fever again, so yeah, um, once she's been water tested, um, we'll start on the filtration house, so it's not too much to hook up really. I've just got to get some inch and a half pipe weight for the air source heat pump because it's not two inch. So, but it'll go into two inch to one and a half inch and straight back out onto two inch straight away. So there's never going to be any any pressure problems. So, yeah, that's where we're up to, guys. Like I say, it's happening now. So we'll be ready for the big, the big 18 inch Motoro Stingray soon and um, we are going to be keeping the 8 foot tank for a while because I've got some grow ons, I've got that um, Black Diamond Pearl Stingray to grow on and then I've got a new addition coming as well which I couldn't turn down, it was basically for the size of the fish and the price and it is a fish I have been after for a long time so yeah, um, he won't be coming till the pond's ready because the big preds are going in the pond and then we're going to keep the 8 foot tank for the grow on. Um, lights are a bit low because we're getting ready for bedtime. I'll turn the lights up and flip. Yeah, they're all way too big being here now. Way too big. It's a bit murky the water is because it's dual water change. Should have done one weekend but obviously I've been flat out busy. I worked all day Saturday as well so. Well now it's getting big. Panda red tails caught up with Rick as well. There's a couple of inch difference. Now she's shot right up. Massive. They're going to look like sticklebacks in this pond though guys, look how big pearl has gone, she's packing some size on. I'm buzzing, I can't wait to transfer these fish. I'm going to use a um, koi sock, so if any of you are familiar with a koi sock, it's basically like a net but it's shaped as a sock. So I can scoop them up, wrap my hand around the back end of them, and I haven't got to mess about and worry about fins getting caught in nets or anything like that. Because I tried bagging them last time in big staging bags, and the claw knife and the arowanas, oh. It was like a, like a circus act. So, everyone's doing well. Crown's healed up well from the unbeseeked attacking him. I think Sid's getting some size on him now. So, yeah, I'm going to leave this one here, guys. So. I'll keep you updated towards the end of the week when we start filling her up. So, as always guys, massively appreciate all the comments and the likes. Honestly, um, just like some of the comments are raised, so I do weigh and watch all your videos as well. So, as always guys, thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing because we've had a load of new subscribers so massive thank you to the new subscribers and a big thank you to the ones who've been here from the beginning and now we'll catch you on the next one when we'll have water in this monster pond peace